everybody, Norm over here at Norm's Rare Guitars, and today we're going to do like a little informative video. We've done enough silly videos, we had Frank Stallone try to entertain you guys with uh, some of our nonsense, but we're actually a serious guitar store, and I'm going to show you how serious in just a minute uh, with some of this stuff. Uh, we've had some questions to talk about some of the ES guitars, and people go, what is an ES guitar? ES stands for Electric Spanish. And these, what we're doing today are basically just the thin bodies. And I'm just gonna run down some of the models to you and kind of show you the appointments and show you how they evolved from one model to the next and what some of the differences are. So we're gonna start with this guy over here. This is a really nice, beautiful condition, ES120. Now this guitar is a thin body. It's got the raised pick guard and the Melody Maker type pickup. So it's a single coil melody maker type pickup, dots on the fingerboard, just the gold leaf uh, decal up on the neck. And it's sort of the most basic, least expensive of the ES guitars. Then moving up the line to the next model, um, we go to this ES125 TDC. Now this is like the George Thorogood guitar. This is two P90s. They did do a version with one P90. They did a non-cutaway version of this too. Uh, but I'm just showing you kind of so we can kind of briefly go through some of these. This has a trapeze tailpiece, the floating wood bridge, um, the uh, yellow cap knobs, uh, dot neck on the fingerboard. This is also in tremendous shape. Gold leaf decal. And this guitar is mostly associated with George Thurgood. This is an amazing condition. This is a 63. Really beautiful guitar, beautiful example. Then, moving up the ladder one step at a time, this is a very rare blonde late 50s ES-225. And the difference between the 125 and the 225 is the 225 has this trapeze tailpiece. Uh, some people like it, some people don't like the tailpiece, it's uh, personal taste. This guitar is basically the same body as the 125 TDC, but it's got binding on the neck with dot inlays, and uh, in blonde, it's very unusual. So in the, this is an immaculate condition, just one of the nicest ones you'll ever see, thin body. And then, moving up the line again, we have a dot neck ES330. Now this is the uh, double cutaway, which is the difference between this and the 120 and 125. Double cutaway, two P90s, trapeze tailpiece with a two pneumatic bridge, rosewood fingerboard, dot necks, um, you know, just, it, it's a plain headstock, but with the pearl. This is in cherry, and this one is a 1961 dot neck. Again, a beautiful guitar, beautiful example. And then, moving up the line, we'll go to the, this one here, which is a 1960 dot neck ES-335. Now, this one has nickel parts, PAFs. It has a, um, a block, a center block in this to reduce feedback. And the models above the 335 all have this block. So um, you have two PAF, sunburst finish, excellent condition, dot neck. Uh, you have the pearl Gibson, but you have the crown underneath that. And sunburst finish, an another amazing example, uh, just really clean. I'm just showing you some stuff that we don't have out on the floor. A lot of this stuff we show by appointment. So what you don't see isn't necessarily not here. We have a lot of stuff that we don't actually put out. So um, this is... Um, part of the evolution on this guitar here, it has block inlays on the neck. This is a 335 TDC, has the custom made plaque which covers the stop tailpiece holes, nickel parts, um, two pneumatic. This has a factory Bigsby and cherry finish, also in very nice condition. Um, just a beautiful example. And uh, this is kind of next in the evolution. This is a 59 stop tailpiece ES345. This has the gold parts, PAFs, a little bit fancier binding around the outside of the body, the split parallelogram inlay, 
Veritone. It's a stereo guitar. Uh, this guitar is the uh, crown again on the headstock, the uh, inlaid Gibson, and it has the gold tuners, gold parts. Uh, it's the model up from the 335. And then lastly, this is a late 60s, but a very unusual 355. This one is mono, but it's very rare in sunburst. Very clean condition. Uh, this one has the ebony board and the big block inlays. Uh, the headstock inlay that's fancier, much more multiple bindings, gold parts, and if you look on the body binding, uh, it's multiplied also. This has the Maestro Vibrola tailpiece, and this is a beautiful guitar as well. And so I just wanted to run down to you some of these thin body guitars that we always have some of these in stock and uh, you know there's a lot of people who said you know well I don't see this and I don't see that that doesn't mean we don't have it we have a ridiculously huge stock here and so if you don't see it even on our inventory some of the stuff is not even there so ask because we do have a lot of stuff and uh, it's a pleasure to come to you and give you like this a little informative video. Uh, we'll come back to some nonsense videos. We'll have some of our local talent. We'll have some of the big name talent that comes in. Whatever goofiness that goes on here at Norm's Rare Guitars. We love you guys for watching. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, we have some big announcements coming up. But I'm not going to say anything yet. But I will let you know when the time is right.